Welcome, Elio, to the show. How are you? Very good, JB, for this early morning, 5.30 here in Australia, and cold and windy. And how are you? <laughs> I am fantastic, thank you. And isn't it amazing? We have tried to do this interview a couple of times, and the universe seemed to laugh every time, and even this morning. And I I wanted to say thank you so much for getting up so early to do this. I, You know, some people are like, 5.30 and when? <laughs> I love early mornings, so this is perfect time. And funnily enough, I was thinking the same thing. What is it I need to know right now? And that's really important to ask in these sort of situations when something supposedly goes wrong but it never really is is it it's always a timing thing or what is it I need to know so you know you can always turn it around with a positive okay it's not meant to happen right now or this has happened and that's okay yeah this is all perfect timing. That's the way I see it. And the power was out just before we were going to start doing the show. And as soon as we said, okay, we'll do it next week, it <laughs> came back on. So I guess we just needed to give the universe permission that we were flexible. <laughs> exactly. And, and, and the key words here are let go. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Speaking of letting go, part of what music does for us, as you notice, is it allows us to relax. And how many people do you see kind of moving this way in their bodies or they listen to music, that sort of thing? I want my audience to be able to get to know you. And then we're going to explore the, the healing that comes through music a little bit. So can you sure. give the audience a little bit about you, your background, how you got into the work and, and what the work we're featuring today is, the healing work? I started playing the guitar at the age of seven, learning classical music, which I did until my high school years. By the age of 20, a very dear friend of mine introduced me and invited me to join his Latin band. And from this point and for the last 20 years, I've been involved in various live performance based acts from cover bands. Um, I currently have a children's show and I have a Mexican roving trio and I'm also a solo Latin guitarist. So these various acts uh, keep me very busy. As a composer, I have been uh, composing for 20 years in various genres. And the past 10 years, I've been exploring the different cultures and sounds of music with the intention of evoking physical and emotional reactions to the body. So my focus and purpose is writing music for one's healing and healing of people's hearts, be it an adult or a child. For me, music and what makes music healing is music's very, very personable. And this is my form of expression. And so this is how my spirit expresses itself. I find music very healing, and me as a person, I'm very emotional. So when I write music, on many occasions, I would cry with tears of joy. And that for me is when I've connected with the emotion, but also a connection to God, universe, or a higher power. It is also at that point when I thank God for this moment, and I'm in a state of gratitude. And this is who I am. This is what my spirit wants to do. So for me, music speaks a universal language and one that we can all resonate and connect with on some level. So music evokes feelings of inspiration, happiness, grief, sadness, relaxation, joy, and promotes healing. So to me, this is what music is all about, evoking an emotion and stimulating the body and, in effect, healing. Music for me uh, is powerful on so many levels. And what I love about music is that it stores uh, memories of all kinds of emotions and it helps us bring those emotions to the surface and ultimately heal. And I watched this documentary, which was about a hospice in the US that used music as therapy for people that had some disability to help them reignite their spirit. And what I mean by this is they would place a set of headphones of music the person loved hearing. And so when they put their headphones over this gentleman, all of a sudden he started singing. And prior to this, he was very much a cabbage, just in his own world, head down, eyes closed, hardly any movement. And so when they put their headphones on this gentleman, all of a sudden he just started singing. His eyes were wide open and he just started talking. This man just lit up. And it was quite emotional because this is the power music has on our bodies. And as soon as 
the music stopped and they took his headphones off, he just went back to his normal self. It's like he just shut down. Wow. And what this shows is our subconscious and nervous system remembers music because we connect with it so intensely. It, what it does, it intensifies our emotions of whatever it is we are feeling. It could be pop, punk, rock. It really doesn't matter because music in general resonates with people. Music helps us express what we already feel because it stimulates our memory. It affects us on a conscious or subliminal level, whether we know it or not. So when I listen to a song, it instantly connects me to that place, time, person. And I'm able to feel that emotion of that time, of place or person. So when I think of music, I like to think of the ebb and flow of the tide, how it comes in to nourish and when it recedes, it cleanses away all those uh, negative emotions. And I combine these individual powerful elements all into each piece of music I write. Have you had a moment where you listen to this music, whether it be on the radio, you're in a hotel, and all of a sudden you just think, you think of that moment you were in? Absolutely. And that's what music's doing is connecting with that time and place. How powerful is that? Very. How did the Healing Codes music come about for you? Well, quite interesting. My partner, Julia, she's a homeopath and kinesiologist. And she engages in many healing modalities, and one of them being the healing codes. And she suggested that I try the healing codes for my own healing purposes. So I began the process of doing the healing codes. And then Julia suggested that I write music for the healing codes. So I composed a small piece of music and introduced this to Dr. Alex Lloyd, who is the creator of the healing codes. Dr. Alex Lloyd replied within three days of my email and he just expressed his love for what I had written. He was very excited actually and from this point I began the process of writing the music while doing the codes and understanding each code in depth and one process was to connect and feel each emotion for, for each code and it took about six months to write this album. Yeah, excellent. And how did you exactly begin to write music? What was your inspiration or your push? Did you always have the gift to write music? Because writing music is very different than playing it or singing it or anything like that. I feel that everybody has a purpose. And whether you know it or not, for me, I've always been writing music. But I always felt at a young age that I wanted to do something purposeful on a musical perspective, but I didn't know what it was. So meeting Julia about 19 years ago is when things started to fall into place and find purpose musically. So I'd been writing in Latin genres and then Julia introduced me to world music. So that was really the beginning, without being conscious of it, the beginning of the path of writing music for one's healing. So it all begins with having an intention. And I think that is across the board. Whether you're a host, whether you're a waitress, you need to have an intention. And for me, having that intention of writing for healing is at the primary goal. And so questions I ask is, what is it that I want you, the listener, to feel when I write music? And what is the purpose of writing this piece of music? And so to prepare myself, I listen to music in that particular genre or I listen to music that evokes feelings that I want to convey. And listening to music and playing along with it or singing the melody is another preparation to finding inspiration for writing. Do you find that writing healing music and using the healing codes, because healing codes themselves is a... A business as you were talking about that yes. and you've combined your music with the healing codes how do you incorporate the music you write with the healing code in other words is there something a script or a particular chakra maybe or a particular energy that you're trying to convey let's say if somebody has blockages with 
anger or depression or whatever, is there a certain type of music that you would write for that? Or is it written music and you allow that person to use it however they feel they need to? Does that make sense? My job is to connect with the emotion. There are a few stages here. So one is having the intention, the intention of what is it that I want you to feel? And ultimately, I want you to heal on a physical and an emotional level. And so stage one is intention, connecting with the emotion. When I wrote the healing codes, I had studied the manual, connecting with that emotion. And most of the time, I would relate that to a, an experience that I have had in that moment of unforgiveness. Once I've connected with that emotion, I start writing and most of the time, it's just allowing and letting go and allowing the universe to take over. So with unforgiveness, I already had an issue with that, an issue that I had with a friend. And so I had this unforgiveness feeling for a long time. And so I thought of him in this process of writing. So by the end of it, once I'd finished writing this uh, track, that feeling of unforgiveness or discomfort had gone. And I said to Julia, I don't know what it is, but I don't have that feeling anymore. So and that's what I do with every song. I connect with the emotion of whatever emotion it is. So if, if it's love, I'll connect with that. And I truly believe those feelings that I have for each emotion emanate outwards. And in return, you feeling what I'm feeling through music because I feel that my music is telling a story. And I want you to feel that, connect with that emotion that I'm feeling, so you can heal, because I'm healing at the same time as well. When we are speaking of intention, and you've used that word many times, and I love that, because I talk about intention often when it comes to manifesting, right? And, and we have new moons that we set new intentions. It's really what is it that we want to invoke if you will or what do we want to experience and so right. you have a uh, song called the return ah uh, yes what is your intention for writing the return and is there anything interesting about how you composed it yeah, it's a lovely album it's very calming and it all started from a competition <laughs> that i entered and and they had produced a video without music and you had to score a three-minute piece of music to coincide with the video. And the theme was water. And at this time, I had already set an intention prior to this competition that came out to write an album based around water. And this is what inspired me to commence the writing. The video was called The Return. So that's what I called the album. So I had already set the intention, but I waited for the right moment. I'll just describe a bit about the video that they promoted. The video shows how young children, middle-aged and the elderly connect and relate to water at different times of their life. What this showed is that we are all somehow connected to water. We are surrounded by water. Our physical bodies are 70 to 90 percent water and water maintains, it nourishes, it cleanses and conducts energy within the body. So my intention for writing the music was to stimulate balance and cleanse the body through the water element. The body's way of communicating with us is through the symptoms of the body and emotions. And this music is to facilitate the release of these emotions to allow for the healthy expressions of emotions. Uh, this effect is both emotional and physical. So the music is to bring you to a state of balance and tranquility and bring the body back into alignment. Describe how I felt when I wrote this album, uh, were feelings of freedom, free from stress, free from worry, and feeling energized. And this is exactly what I wanted to convey in the music. I wanted you to feel as though you were at the beach, but allowing the music to move you like the energy of water. And another aspect to this album is that I wanted to share with you the sounds and instruments I used and created. First, I visualized myself in the ocean and asked myself, what would it be like to listen to music while being surrounded by water? 
So I used certain sounds that I was able to manipulate to make it sound like I was in water. So, and I wanted to convey the music like the ebb and flow of the tide, how it comes in to nourish, and when it recedes, it cleanses away, as I previously mentioned, all those negative emotions. And I combined all these powerful elements all into each piece that I wrote. So the album is about creating the balance in the body, connecting with the water elements in our bodies. That's beautiful. That's, sounds complex, <laughs> but the music in the end is meant to be just the complete opposite of complex. But the thoughts and the process is quite involved, but in the end you want it to create a feeling of relaxation and predominantly healing because that's my ultimate purpose is to have the music heal you, heal your heart, heal your soul, heal you on a physical and emotional level. And I can feel that. And you know, I can't believe that our time with chatting is up, but what I wanted oh. to do um, yes. with you was, and, and for our audience, is feature you, your music, and so the second half of our show, when we come back from our commercial break, Ilya's put together a compilation of some of his favorite music, as well as some that just really have powerful intention and healing behind it. And uh, we want you to enjoy it. But also, he's putting together a promotional for you that I will make sure I get to, uh, that information when we return from the break. So you have to stay tuned and not go anywhere after the commercials so that I can give you the promotional information as well. But Elio, is there any last things that you would like the audience to know? For instance, what are you working on next and how can people find you? Sure is I'm working on Music for the Healing Codes Part 2, and the album will go for 2 hours and 46 minutes. So that's been an amazing, very powerful album, which I'm looking forward to. I'm also working on a couple of children's eBooks with an American author, Emily A. Fillmore, who's written some beautiful children's books. And collectively, we've created these eBooks that will offer video, pictures, text, music, and a narrated voice by Emily. And they're very playful children's books that aim to engage and stimulate all senses for the child with the senses of love and playfulness and a time of interacting with family. So very exciting. So they're the two next projects. will keep me very busy. Was there another question? Yes. <laughs> Where can people find you if oh. they want your music? Uh, you can find me on www eliomusic.com e-l-i-o music.com excellent Elio thank you so much for being my guest today and I hope that you that you would be willing to come back because you're an amazing artist and I would love to continue to learn more about the healing codes with you and in go even another direction with the, some of the music because you are multi-dimensional and uh, <laughs> and I'm very very grateful so thank you for being here Thanks, Jamie. It's my pleasure, and I appreciate the connection with you as well. Yeah. All right, everyone. Stay tuned. You're listening to It's a New Dawn here on 1-2 Radio. We're changing the way we listen to the world. <laughs> 